What is up you guys it's your girl Alexa takes a look and today we are back with some more stray kids content I'm going to be taking a look at two videos we're doing a double feature for stray kids I am going to be looking at mountains track and veil as well as Han's new solo release maybe so uh, as always if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so it really helps me out I finally reached my goal of 4k but you know I'm always happy for new people to join the fam bam so without further ado we're just gonna jump right into it all right so we got it pulled up this is a minute long we're gonna take a look at mountains first let's just go ahead and jump into it I am so excited for this Oh, I am. Oh, came in like a wrecking ball. Hopefully my echo did not hear that because it will start playing Stray Kids, but um, oh my goodness, I am so excited. That sounds so epic. It sounds like it goes so hard. Uh, Hyunjin with the clear glasses. Oh my goodness. Lino in the verse rapping in English. So hilarious because you know we... We all know he hates to to speak in English, so that is hilarious. Um, I don't know, just everything about the song sounds so epic. The beat is epic. The the Changbin, you got Changbin coming in hot with this purple hair. Uh, I am so excited, and what I'm really excited is they did not add any of the vocals, so I'm so curious to see what Sungmin is doing on this track. Same with I N and Bang Chan. Um, Felix, is he gonna be doing vocal? Is he gonna be doing rap? Is he gonna come in with the spice? I don't know. I'm super excited for this track though. So far to me, this sounds like it could be one of my new favorites. Like, this sounds great. Now though, we're gonna take a look at Han's new song, Maybe. I'm also very excited and heard great things about this and I've been waiting to listen to it. So let's jump into that. All right, so we got his new song pulled up here. I'm so excited. Let's just jump into it. Okay, it's a little bit more rocky. I was not expecting this, but Han's voice is so comforting. It's very like alternative. Oh, 
This is so different from anything Han's ever done, I feel like. such a different song from Han. It's very, very low key and not that his songs aren't low key. I mean, he's definitely got some, some lower like vibe, like not lower, but like calmer vibe songs for sure. But this one, I don't know. There's something about his voice that just like when you hear it, you feel so comfortable. You feel relaxed, like especially when he's singing in his higher notes, I feel like he, like my stress is just melting away and that's what this song does for me. It's not my usual go-to type of music, but I can still appreciate it for what it is. Um, I think that I really liked the instrumentals for it, especially in that, like, that spot that's very surprising where it's just like instrumental all of a sudden like the background music kind of just stops. Um, I think that's extremely unique. Um, and I always love Han for his lyrics. I feel like he is so relatable in his lyrics. They're very, very, like I said, he's just very comforting in his music. And I feel like this is no different. Um, when you look at songs like uh, Volcano and, um, oh my goodness, what's the other one? There's another one. I can't think of it right now. You guys know which one I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys know about uh, Alien. That's what it is. Alien. Oh my goodness. Okay. Volcano and Alien. Um, there are songs that are very relatable and really kind of shows like a darker side of like a human being. And I feel like this is no different. I feel like in this song, Han is definitely questioning things. He's talking about deceptive beauty and possibly time flows and things like that and possibilities and so I think it's it's like a song about kind of second guessing the things that are around you second guessing possibly even yourself and the fact that you know he says we're all crossing this fiery you know thing we're all in this together we're all at the same time experiencing this and that's something I can really appreciate from Han is I feel like he really knows how to just take what he's feeling on the inside that sometimes words can't necessarily describe and he turns it into music and I find that quite beautiful. I think that in terms of being like a lyricist and a, and his voice also, Han for me is just, there's no one like him. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm so excited to see what else he does. He's still got like one of my most favorite solos out of all of Stray Kids. I really, really liked his song, Miserable. Um, but, you know, I'm just, I'm really excited to see where he goes and how he develops his music. I'm thinking of like from all of his solos and stuff, how his music has developed. I'm thinking of uh, I Got It right? And then comparing it to a song like this, it's like wildly different. This is like two different artists. Like that Han is like a different Han. This is this Han and there's that Han. You know, there's the Han that's like rapper confident, like, I don't know, ready to like 
eat you up. And then there's this Han who is just gentle and comforting and just very low key and down to earth and just another regular person who just happens to be good at music, you know? And I, I can appreciate both sides of that, but. Anyways, uh, there's always gonna be more Stray Kids to come. I am super, super excited to see what other Unveil tracks they come out with before the release of this album. Um, so there will always be more Stray Kids, con uh, Stray Kids concerts. Wow, I'm really thinking about that Stray Kids concert. There will always be more Stray Kids content on my channel, always. I love them. So yeah, anyways, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share whatever the cool YouTubers say. It's your girl, Lexa Takes a Look, and I'm bouncing out. Bye!